Hey peeps, so this is the deck spread for the Contrary Wise Deck Challenge in the month of February 2020 on the channel. I don't typically use set spread meanings. Um, if you've mentored with me or studied with me at all, you know that I really just lay the cards down and let what flows flow. But <coughs> because we're working with a deck that we may be struggling with this month, I do have set meanings for this deck spread. So what you're going to need is, again, your journal or however you're choosing to document this experience for yourself. You're going to want to have a little time to spend with your deck for this process. This is a five card spread and each card does have a set meaning. You can lay them out however feels most attractive to you or feels most appropriate for you for your deck. Um, you know, in my mind, I'd kind of be doing like a, a one card at the top and then four beneath. But let this be, you know, let that flow for what feels right for you and your deck. You know, as you're moving into this deck spread, hopefully you're doing this like on maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe Thursday of this process for yourself. So you have spent at least a little time with your deck now. Um, and, you know, you should maybe at this point be able to feel how the deck would like the spread to look. Because I do think visually that's important as readers. So I'm going to post the spread in the info bar, um, that's all going to be listed so you don't have to try to memorize this as I read it out. I'm just going to read it out for you so you can kind of get an idea of the scope or what it's going to feel like. Please adapt this to whatever specific questions you want to ask for your deck. This is just a jumping off point. So card number one, why have you come into my life, is the question for the card that you're going to draw for that. Card number two, what is your biggest message for me at this time? Card number three. What lesson am I currently learning on my path? Card number four, how would you like me to connect with you? And card number five, what does my soul need to know at this time? It felt appropriate for me to have it be about a soul question at the end, because what I've found over the years is when we have a deck that's difficult for us to connect with, if we break through and we really connect, it tends to be a deck that we go to for really big things, big personal things in our life. Um, may not be the case for you with this deck, but it is helpful to ask those kind of deep questions of the deck to get an understanding for how both of you are communicating with each other about soul purpose things, which are really big deals for all of us in our life. So what does my soul need to know at this time? Felt appropriate for the last card because it is an in-depth question that's creating a deeper connection with your deck. It's not something surface. So we're really coming to understand how the deck wants to connect with us, what the big message is from the deck, that's sole purpose, what the minutia message of the deck is, which is what's the biggest message for me at this time, why have you come into my life, what lessons am I currently learning, and this is like getting us closer to understanding why the deck is in our life and what the deck would like to teach us on our journey. So again, this is the deck spread. You can come back to this as many times as you want. Feel free to use this with any other decks and please feel free to adapt it based on your needs and what you feel from working with your contrary wise deck for this deck challenge. Much love, many blessings guys. See you in the next video.